hello today i am going to demonstrate about how to deploy a web based application automatically by using maven in this demonstration i am using jdk 7 tomcat 7 maven 3 and eclipse kepler to do that i have couple of steps to be followed so first step is we need to add user and roles for the tomcat to access the tomcat like tomcat users here i have bunch of tomcat users but i can specifically use this role for this demonstration and we need to add username password for the tomcat user for the specific role and this file we can see in this location tomcat home and config this is the file and second step is set the server configuration in the mavens screen or xml like here we need to add server tag and the servers tag like this which is having id username password this id is specifically used in future in this demonstration so make sure that this username password should be same as the password username password this configured in the tomcat users.xml for this role task to is we need to create web web application here i'm using navanized web application so to get into the mavenized web application how to how to create a mavenized web application you can see my previous example now to see this formatted xml we need to configure tomcat maven plugin to configure this tomcat maven plugin we need to add this plugin under build tag which is having plugin management tag plugins plugin so in this this plugin should be configured And the version is 2.2. As of now, I'm using this 1.2.2, and we need to configure this URL to manage the text. Make sure that you are using manage the text, and we need to give that server tag as ID. If you remember, we configured this server. in the serenade xml so this id is used here to map that maven 
and tomcat so these username password should be same as here and here now you need to give the path as a root ca root context and this true can be optional now make sure that your tomcat is up and running Now you need to run this Maven by setting goals like this. Before doing that, we need to install the application whether any compilation issues are there or not to make sure that everywhere is set up properly once we get the success now run the build again with the this role the goal should be tomcat7 colon deploy this go this goal will make use of this plugin and deploy to the tomcat automatically once you run the form file let us see that how it will do this goal you are running it if you see this ok deploy application at context path So build success. Once we get this two lines, we can make sure that the build is success and it is successfully deployed to the Tomcat, which is there in this location. Now go to the console. we have this application done this application has been deployed automatically now we can see some couple of goals like uh, how to unde redeploy and undeploy to see these two goals, we need to run the man again. Like this goal is used when the application is already deployed into the Tomcat and you have done some changes. Those changes you want to do the redeploy into the Tomcat means the tomcat is already having the application and you need to do the re redeploy after doing the some changes kind of so to do the redeploy this is the goal run it check this 
it is clearly saying that undeployed and again deployed so build, build again success you see here this is the first time deployment and we can see the two times of deployment in the console okay now we will see undeploy the application anyway the application will be here only because it is a redeploy now we will see how to undeploy same way we have tomcat 7 colon undeploy goal is there so this goal will do the necessary undeployment run it If you see this, we will get success anyway. Undeploy application context. Okay. If you check the UI now, see, we are not able to see that application because that application has been undeployed. can check that in the console itself undeploying context of this application now again we will try the deployment to make sure that application is running use the deploy command run it Will got success so deployed. So you see this in the application. Again, we got the link. The same as the console are deployed. This all about automation of deployment, undeployment, or redeployment, anything into Tomcat 7 specifically by using Maven 3. Thank you for watching the video. See you soon. Bye.